All right, Donnie, are you ready to play this here game you suggested we play? Because I'm ready to run a supermarket better than, uh, well, you. Joe, you can barely run the country. What makes you think you can run a simple grocery store? Well, I mean, uh, I don't know, but I am the president, so obviously I can do uh, things. The only thing you can do is be a fucking idiot 99% of the time. All right, well, let's just start playing the game. Is this multiplayer or what? No, we're just going to be playing single player on our own worlds while on a Discord call to see who's better at the game. Maybe if multiplayer comes out, I can kick your ass in the game like I'm going to kick your ass in November. But wait, I thought November was like a week ago, wasn't it? Oh, I can buy food. That is kind of the point of a supermarket, Joe. But anyways, we have $50. We have $50 to start making this supermarket a beautiful, bustling commerce haven to feed the populace. Fifty dollars isn't much. Like, I can't even buy cereal, bread, and flour. Well, then just buy some of the cheapest products to start off. It's not rocket science. Okay, I got some bread, flour, oil, and pasta for just 48 bucks. There you go. Man, I only got one dollar and 88 cents left. That's funny, because I bought some products, and I have three dollars and 48 cents. I'm already doing better than you. Fuck! Damn it. Ah, there we go. I finally opened the damn box. I kept accidentally throwing it. And I'm gonna make this pasta extremely expensive so the fools give me more money. Ha 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 ha. Oh, shit! I didn't know Ron DeSantis had his own bread. I thought you called him Ron DeSanctiminous. Or, uh, however the hell you pronounce that nickname. I don't call him desanctimonious anymore ever since he endorsed me. The best president ever for president. The best president of what? A carrot farm? Since you look like one. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Oh, interesting. This game apparently takes place in Iowa. Oh, good, because Iowa is Trump country. Great. Now you just made me hate the game a little bit. All right, so it looks like the market price is at three ninety six. I'm going to round it up to $4. Most people will pay $4 for, I mean, it, it's absurd. But 450, you know what? I like my oil. I'm making it five dollars. And then the flour, I'm gonna sell at 3.39 a pop. Holy shit, this lady is ugly. Joe, it's probably not such a smart idea to call your potential customers ugly. Too bad. All right, I guess I'll just open up the shop and start raking in the cash. All right, now when the day starts. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be slow at first, but it goes from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. All right, we're officially open. Now look at this showman. Look at him. Oh, oh. I've never seen anyone so sexy. Oh my gosh. Already. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. All right. $41. Boom. Boom. I, uh, get out of there. Get out of my store. I'm going to make this bread super expensive so I can make a bigger profit. Oh, shit. No, that fucking asshat took the bread before I could set the price. God damn it. Yeah, that's why you set the prices before opening up your store, dumbass. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bitch. Oh, man, I hate doing math. Uh, how do I get my money? Oh, there we go. Oh, look here, Joe. We even got a bike. Just don't go using it or you might fall off it like a complete doofus. At least when I fall off things, I don't cause a 6.9 magnitude earthquake like you. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. Uh, I wonder what happens if this car runs over that empty box. Ah, I'm being run over by this car. Help, help. It keeps pushing me. Stop it, you stupid fucking Volkswagen. Oh, good, I'm free. Fuck you, you stupid asshole driver. Enjoy your fat stack of pennies, sir. Actually, that reminds me. I'm probably gonna get a fat stack of fries from Mickey D's later. I'm more like Mickey D's nuts. So, uh, how much money have you made so far, Donald? $42.26. What? I'm only at $14.88. Told you I'd be awesome at the game and you would suck balls. Yeah, well, no one cares. All right, you ugly bitch, you better go into my store. Yeah, that's right, get. I'm having the time of my life. A hundred dollars a change. What the fuck are you doing? There's the, the, dude, like, get out of my fucking store. Get out, get out, get out, get out. 
Hi. I'm here to just buy some flour. Okay. You have fun with your t two fucking bags of flour. What are you doing? Do you just fucking eat it by handfuls? Oh, well, I guess all I have is flour and bread and oil. Maybe I should work towards getting a product license as soon as possible. No, it's not theft. You're just a poor son of a bitch that should just get more money like the rest of us. Let's fucking go! I got my first $100, baby. Dude, how the fuck are you making so much money so fast? It's like you're uh, cheating or something. Sleepy Joe, it's quite literally impossible to cheat in this game. I mean, unless you hire a really good coder to hack into the game to give yourself more money or some shit. That sounds like a pretty good idea right about now, because I need a few hundred dollars just to order enough food. And look at this ugly ass looser. Speaking of which, I'm going to order some more pasta and uh, let's get some more cereal, too. Oh, shit. I'm running out of pasta, too. Oh, nice. I finally reached the hundred smackaroos. It took me until fucking 6 p.m. to finally have double the amount I started with. This is going to take forever. Joe, will you fucking quit being an impatient bitch? No. Have fun with your flower slut. All right, it's almost closing time. No, I wanted to make so much more money before the day ends. You can always make more money on day two. Oh, there's going to be a day two. Well, yeah. What did you think, Joe? We were going to play the game for five minutes and then just call it a day? Well, I didn't know how long the game was. It can go on infinitely. Just like the radius of your stomach. Shut up, dick face. Now, they love the cereal. You can see they love that. Wait, no, no, no. No, I can't sell them. That cost, you asshole. Five fifty. Yeah, Baldy, come over here with your money. Ugh, I hate having to type this shit in. All right, the first day is over. What did you end up with, Joe? Um, let me see here. Uh, I ended up with $139.28. What did you get? I have $93.22 in the bank, but I spent a lot on a few products like bread and cereal before day one ended. Shit, and those fucking customers wiped me clean yesterday. I gotta get like every product. Jill probably wiped your ass clean too. Hey! Oh wow, a nice tower of boxes. This Amazon shipping thing is doing God's work. So, uh, I almost sold out of oil. Apparently, a lot of people are getting oiled up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a lot more of that fine oil to sell today. You and your goddamn oil, Donald. That shit is bad for the, uh, you know, the weather and the clouds that I find myself shaking my fist at from time to time. Not that kind of oil dipshit. It's vegetable oil. Though I wouldn't be opposed to cars running on veggie oil, though it might make me too hungry for fries, because that's what the roads would smell like. Wouldn't cars have to run on potatoes for them to smell like fries? Also, speaking of which, when were we going to be able to sell produce like potatoes and fruits and shit? Um, not sure. You have to keep leveling up to buy more product licenses. It's probably going to take a while. Ah, oh, come on, man, but I'm already so sleepy. Just wake the fuck up! Well, hopefully the pudding I had earlier will give me some energy soon. And, uh, I think I'm going to build something out of these boxes like a tower or a fort. Since I got so many of them. You do realize you can throw the boxes out in the trash, right? But why waste perfectly good boxes? I'm just going to keep all of them. Suit yourself, then. The Trump store is open, folks. How dare that bitch not come into my store and buy my wonderful products? Well, maybe because you do things like call your customers a bitch. Dude, you called one of your customers ugly and then another one a slut. Well, they were. Oh my God, the amount of drip is immaculate. Look at this man. White suit, he better have a shit ton of money. Looks like he doesn't because all he got was two boxes of cereal. You cheapskate. There's so much other products you could have bought douchebag. And this lady looks like that lady from Shark Tank. Shark Tank? I didn't know they could fit your fat ass mama in a tank. Okay, shut the fuck up, ass munch. The fuck you talking about the flour isn't expensive. You just need more money, you dick. I'm just going to put the Choco Peak at $6.50. I mean, cereal for 6.50 is completely outrageous, but not by Joe Biden's economic standards. You know, even though it's basically the human equivalent of cattle feed with sugar in it. Oh, so your mother must love cereal then, since she is quite the cow. You know what? Speaking of cows, you literally smell like a fucking cattle farm with the amount of shit you leave in your old ass diapers. 
When I had to leave the White House on January 20th, 2021, it smelled completely fine until you showed up. Literally, the moment you entered the building at 12 p.m., I could smell the shitty aroma slowly coming towards me, and I had to hightail it out of there. You just mad that you had to get your fat ass out of the White House so that I, Jill Hiding, I mean Joe Biden, could come in and get things done. The only thing you got done was getting the dollar store to amp up their $1 price to fucking $7. Too bad the Dollar Tree isn't an actual Dollar Tree because, uh, well, you know, that would solve the problem of things. Pam Zadi, pasta is too expensive. Well, maybe you shouldn't be a broke bitch. Get some more money like me. I'm hustling. If you're not hustling, then you are the one with the problem. I'm sorry, but if a $4 box of pasta is too expensive for you in today's climate, then you really need to start thinking about getting more money. Dude, you have like $3 billion. You could give $10 to each American, which means they could buy two boxes of pasta. Actually, I'm now worth $6.4 billion thanks to my Truth Social merger, the best platform on the internet. So now I'm two times richer in Joe. You still two times dumber than all the dumbest people combined. Um, well, shut up, you stupid fucking fat fucking ass hat fucking butt fuck. Wow, great insult, Joe. But uh, anyways, I've got to make $200 to... See, I'm not going to let this game trick me. It's, it's trying to get me to purchase a product license for $200. It wants me to be in debt so that I go to the bank for a loan. Well, I won't do it. I won't do it. I am fiscally responsible. I'm better than any other entrepreneur out there. I use my own debt. I'm in debt to myself. Yeah, well, you've brought that upon yourself because of the court cases and, uh, you know, the things that you did that were bad. I was being facetious, butt face. I literally just said, a moment ago, I'm $3 billion richer. I'm nowhere near close to being in debt. $80, dude, you're killing me. 80, 85, 86, 87, 88. All right, have a good one. Thank you for coming. Okay. All right, well, uh, change $16. All right, have a good one. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. All right, I'm going to just, uh, what's the price on this? Man, people are buying up that oil and the pasta. Try uh, making the pasta real expensive. That's what I did. Then you'll make more money. People are buying the pasta just fine. I don't need to adjust the darn thing. I'm doing very well. Dude, what the fuck? This lady's hair is literally glitching out. All right, well, it's 9 o'clock. Time to finish the day. Ooh, okay, I made a profit of $131. 0.87, and I got enough to buy extra food for tomorrow. How you doing, Sleepy Joe? Well, my butt is itchy, and I think I have to do something as president in a few hours. I don't remember what it was. Oh, my God, Joe, I meant how are you doing in the game? Oh, uh, well, I got 366 bucks, so it looks like I'm doing better than you. Your ass probably just got lucky. There's no way you're going to do better than me next time. Yeah, well, I'm going to make my prices skyrocket so I can have an even bigger profit than you. You already do a good job at that in real life. Fake news. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to head out and take a quick stop at Dairy Queen. When are we playing this stupid game again? Um, how about tomorrow around 6 p.m., right after my McDonald's run? Run. Please, Donald, don't ever try to run. You may cause a few earthquakes from all that weight. And please, Joe, you never try to run either or you may trip on a leaf. All right, we're back playing Supermarket Simulator. Joe, you ready to run your store, even though you weren't even ready to run the country? Well, uh, I'm ready to continue building my epic box tower, and then hopefully I get enough of those ugly people to buy my stupid products so I can make more than you. My products, my tower of packages fell. Ha, 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 ha. I think I'm going to start building a tower packages so that I could get up to the roof of the building. Joe, this is supermarket simulator, not dumbass simulator. Of course, the White House right now basically is dumbass simulator right now. You're just a load of lard and salt, Donnie boy. We are going to stock these shelves like no one else. I'm going at it aggressive this time. I'm not, I'm not letting what happened before happen. That's right. We are loading up the shelves with this sugary cereal <laughs> shit that people are addicted to. That's right. That's right. Eat it, cattle. Eat it. Eat my product. Eat my product. Eat my product. You love my product. Hmm.
Speaking of sugary products that people are addicted to, I could go for a nice good old ice cream cone of the chocolate variant. Oh, wait, can you start selling ice cream in this game? Oh, for fuck's sake, Sleepy Joe. You and your goddamn ice cream, but yes, I would assume you can once you buy more and more of the product licenses. Ooh, good, now there's something for me to work towards. Holy shit, dude, you're right, these people are ugly. Because, I mean, we've got a freaking goblin here. Like, I, I just don't understand why they're, they're, some of these people are just so oily looking. They're creepy. Like, this guy doesn't look oily at all. He, he looks fine. He looks a little plastic, but, I mean, he doesn't look like he's literally been sweating out my, my, my like, like, I, I don't know. I don't know, my oily product. You do realize you look like an oily orange pig, right? You tried doing a few rallies in some of the hot states without sweating. Oh, right. You won't because you either hide in basements or sleep on beaches. Hey, I'm busy getting shit done in these American states of the United Americas. I need a few beach breaks from time to time. You know, it's pretty surprising that with all that sun you get while snoozing in the sand, that you're still as pale as Michael freaking Jackson. And you're still as orange as a sunset. Sunsets are beautiful, so thanks for the compliment. Oh, no, that, that wasn't supposed to... Uh, oh, just fuck you. I'm gonna make billions of dollars. Billions of dollars selling my products. Look at them. Look at them. Fools. Purchasing my goods and services with their hard-earned money. Who they think they are? Hey, wait a minute. Why the fuck is my store so fucking dark? Did you forget to turn on the light? Um, of course not. Hello, ma'am. Is there anything I can help you with? Is there anything I can help you with? Is there anything I can help you with? Damn, these motherfuckers are buying my shit so much that my shelves are more clean than my past. Your past is as clean as an average doorknob in the middle of New York City. Did your shirt break? It, it literally looks like a bid. Like it, okay, all right. Um, all right, so uh, Don, how well did you do on day three? Because I got half a thousand dollars now, all thanks to making everything absurdly expensive. Hold on, I'll let you know in a sec. I gotta load up tomorrow's. Order, let's see. Uh, I got enough oil, I got enough flour, but I'm gonna need to get more pasta. Well, uh, shit! It looks like you're doing better than me because I only got $434. How could that possibly be? You're just flying by the seat of your pants. Actually, I'm not wearing pants. I'm currently in my PJs because I'm gonna take a massive nap after this session. Shouldn't you, like, get back to being president after this? No, nah, I did enough this week. I'll just let the advisors handle it. Anyways, back to my epic box tower. Yep, we got all that. Hold up. Perfect. Wow, that's nice and neat. All right, ready? Here we go. We're open for business. Welcome, everyone. Yay, I made it higher. Oh, wait, I can just jump on this plant. I wonder if I can get up there. Holy shit, I can. That's freaking dope. That's it. Oh, look at that. Boom. Boom. That's right. $29. Boom. You do it quick. I had 50 orders. I got an achievement for that. We're going to, I'm going to be on top of the world. I, I'm going to buy this whole street. I'm going to buy the whole town. How about you buy yourself a better comb because that yellow pigsty on your head is messier than a junkyard. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Oh man, there's no one in this window. Joe, I stop being a creepy and looking through people's windows. You're not the boss of me, bitch. But I will be in 2025, baby, because I'm going to win and you're going to shit your pants. You're a big fat liar, Don. That's not happening. I'm going to win so much that I'll even win Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is not a state, you doofus. What? Are you sure? I could have sworn it was like a state for a while. Well, anyways, I'd still win it if it was a state. Oh, cool. I threw that box really far. Oh, I'm getting so tired of getting these stupid assholes their stupid change. It hurts my brain. Giving them their change couldn't possibly hurt your brain. Why is that? Because you don't have a brain to begin with. <laughs> Shut your trap, you orange flap. And of course, the fat guy takes the bread. Yeah, go for the sugar. Be my sugar daddy. Um, pretend I never said that. Can't. Already got throw up coming up my throat. Something went down your mother's throat last night. God damn it, Joe. Between you trying to look through people's windows in the game and making cringy jokes and statements, it's just too much. Just focus on your supermarket. I am. Why else do you think I'm doing better at the game than you? 
because I'm good at making customers pay their fair share. Well, actually, it's not that fair because I made the prices higher than my son. But that's not the point. All right, well, I finished off day four with $720. Did you finish the fourth day yet? Nope, it's only 5.30 p.m. It took me longer to open up the shop because I was stocking the shelves and trying to build a giant tower of boxes. Well, anyways, I'm going to buy my first product license. Maybe I'll do that on day five. But uh, is it any good? That's right. We can purchase. Look at this. Look at this. We could sell water. We can sell cheese. We can also sell milk and eggs and coffee and even tea. This is fucking epic. Milk and tea isn't really all that epic. Now, what would be epic is selling ice cream or uh, maybe some good old PJ and B's. I mean, PB and J's, stupid teleprompter typo. Let's fucking go. Now I got a fridge, which is going to house some of the best cheese these people will lay their hands on. It's going to be glorious cheese. Everybody gets cheese. We now offer cheese. That's so cool. You know what? But the cheese, the cheese is not cheap. It's nine dollars. Oh, oh yes. The cheese is nine dollars. What are you gonna do? Sounds pretty cheesy. Also, don't you think nine dollar cheese is pretty steep? Well, how expensive is your cheese? Oh, right, you can't sell cheese yet, fool. I'll get to that stupid product license thingy, but first I wanna continue my box tower. Good thing George Bush ain't here to build box towers. It just fell over right in front of me. Come on, man. They were being so careful with my packages before, and now they seem to have just given up completely. And it's quite disheartening. Wait, so your tower fell over? Yeah. Damn. Maybe George Bush is handling the packages then. Ha ha ha. I know, right? All right, you know what? 450. There we go. Right over market. That's right. Get some eggs. Get some eggs. Yeah, how you like that? You like those eggs? Yeah? Yeah, you like those eggs? Everybody needs eggs, right? Well, buy some cheese. Buy some cheese. Come on, it's good cheese. Look, look, it's good cheese. It's good cheese. You know what? It's $200 now. The fuck is in that cheese? You don't need to know. Okay, so uh, I finally finished day four and I got $821. I'm gonna buy so much shit for these assholes, they're gonna be shoving money down my throat. Okay, uh, you didn't quite need to be that descriptive there. The only thing that should be shoved down your throat anyways would be some good old dementia pills. I don't need no damn dementia pills, butthead. Now, uh, what were we talking about again? Whatever it probably wasn't important. No, it's not that expensive. It's not. It's worth it. It's worth giving the best president ever 200 bucks for cheese, damn it. The fuck? You were right, Don. This Amazon shipping company is god-awful. I mean, the packages are all over the place. What a mess. It seems to get worse each time I order more shit. Yeah, I'm about to give them a 1 out of 10 stars on the supermarket Yelp reviews. All right, well, I just bought myself a fridge like you did. Bro. You're going to need to buy one of those product licenses first to have anything to put in it. Oh, I do? Fuck. Oh, all right, fine, fine. I'll bring down the damn cheese to $5. I was hoping to scam at least one person to get 200 bucks from just cheese. Yeah, pretty sure $200 cheese is not the right strategy, but uh, I guess I'll buy that damn product license. Only problem is now I'll have more stupid shit to keep track of for the stupid people. And calling all your customers willing to give you money. Stupid is such a great strategy, too. In fact, it's more of an insult being called stupid by, well, the stupidest president ever. Look who's talking, pal. You're so stupid that you lost the election to me. You do realize you just basically insulted yourself there, right? Um, shut up. <sighs> well, we got a cheese fridge. We're doing well. What do you mean it's too expensive? I just dropped it down to five bucks, you fucking asset. Uh... Speaking of cheese, I'm going to have to buy some because these stupid motherfuckers are begging for it. Oh, fuck, there's a shit ton of things I need to buy from that product license. This is so stressful. Oh, my God. There. Yeah, my store. Whoa, all right, lady. Thanks. All right. Have a good one. Thank you for making a great contribution to the Trump supermarket, the best out of all the supermarkets. 
All right, now I sell some stupid coffee in my stupid ass, I mean my awesome ass store. Actually, speaking of which, I could use some because I'm really sleepy. Really living up to your nickname, Sleepy Joe. Is he going for the cheese? Oh, he is going for the cheese. He went for the cheese. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. $92 change. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got two cheeses, man. That's what I'm talking about. You're my buddy. Have a good one, cheesy man. Dude, what the fuck is with your obsession with cheese in this game? Well, I am kind of in the mood for a nice cheeseburger right now. Fat ass. Wow, you look like that, that lady who hates chocolate. Sweet chocolate. I always hated it. Well, I don't have your stupid tea, you fucking butt fungus asswipe motherfucking stupid person, you. Good to know that you're in high spirits, Joe. Actually, wait a minute. Your son, Hunter, is the one that is actually in high spirits. Ha, 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 ha. Shut the fuck up, fat ass. All right, hopefully I get a butt ton of thirsty bitches today. Your mom was a thirsty bitch last night. Hey! Whatever. Jeez, it's always about what you don't have, isn't it? It's always about what you assholes don't have, what you do have. It, like, right here in front of you, you don't care. you just unappreciative of what I do as a billionaire. Oh, just shut up. Shut up. Get out of my store. Get out. Get out. Get out of my store right now. The cheese is not too expensive, you bitch. Sounds like someone isn't in high spirits either. Well, these civilians are more annoying than you when you don't get your pudding. I do get annoyed when that happens because I want my pudding. I'm the current president and I deserve to get my pudding instantly, damn it. Okay, day five is done. Wait, what? I made a loss. Oh, right, right. The upgrade cost and the bills I had to pay and the extra products. Oh, well, I'm going to get off and eat two or three or maybe even four cheeseburgers if I'm feeling feisty. I think I'll get off, too, even though I'm in the middle of a day. But oh, well, my pudding needs me to put it deep inside me like I was in your mother. Jesus Christ, Joe. We are back at it again with some more supermarket simulator. When we last left off, I had a bustling grocery store filled with ugly plastic customers. We sold eggs, we sold cheese. We're selling all this good stuff. Speaking of that, I gotta stock these eggs that I bought from last time. Oh shit, there's people coming in here. I forgot I left off in the middle of a day. Hold your damn horses, I gotta put this cheese away. All right, hopefully it doesn't go bad laying on the floor until I have enough room in the fridge. Yeah, Joe, nothing like some good old rotten eggs on the floor. What the fuck? What the fuck? Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? We're closed. We're closed. I don't care if it's too expensive. What are you doing? It is like, it, it's the middle of the night. What are you doing? We are, we're closed. We are closed. What are you doing? How the fuck is this dude buying shit after we're closed? This is the most realistic simulator I've ever used. This is incredible. Well, Joe, I guess my supermarket is so successful that I even find a way to make money after the store is closed. Yeah, well, my store is so successful that these bitches are buying up the water like we're in the middle of Nevada. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't set the price for the goddamn water and milk. Now all these motherfuckers bought my shit for a price way too low for them. That's what you get for half-assing the game, loser. Satisfied customers, products, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, fine, we'll bring our cheese down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are, we are, all right, we got to start selling cheese. Market 340, let's do 350 for a thing of cheese, all right? All good, I'm trusting the market here. Um, okay, let's reevaluate all of our stuff. Do we have bread? We have bread. Let's load up the shelves with bread. This is good. This is good. This is very good. We're all, we're all good. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're fine. I thought that there was a boogeyman coming in the middle of the night to steal all my garbage. Um, I mean, I get quality product. No, Don, you were right the first time.
your products are garbage, your policies are garbage, your presidency was garbage, and uh, uh, your face is garbage. Fake news, Joe. And you know it's fake news. You're just reading what you have to read from your stupid teleprompter that your ugly-ass wife is probably typing up while you play. Flock, chill. The jig is down. Oh, it's, it's the, the jig is up. Fuck. God, man, why is speaking so hard? <laughs> I'm just going to go back to my the, the store thing. Also, fuck you, Donald. I would fuck me, too. What? Why does it say I'm still selling a product without setting its price? Oh, shit. I didn't set the price of the damn coffee. These sons of bitches are getting discounts left and right. Not fair. They should be paying double. Oh, shit. I didn't set the price of water either. All right, 266 for a bottle of water? All right, let's, you know what? I, I feel bad charging that much for water. 250. You know what? No, no, no. Two dollars. People deserve to be hydrated. All right. I, I, I feel bad even taking, even taking that much off of people. Like a bottle of water should be a dollar. I don't care how much everything else is. A bottle of water should be a dollar maximum. Bottle of water should be uh, 50 cents. Back in my day, you could buy water and a food. Joe, back in your day, dinosaurs still roamed the earth. You do realize I'm only four years older than you, right? Yeah, but at least I haven't looked like I'm 150 fucking years old for the past 20 years. Oh, hush up. You just mad that you're starting to look like a wrinkly, rotten orange that's been sitting in the sun for two weeks. Says the guy who sleeps in the beach for days at a time and still is as pale as a ghost. Yeah, well, shut up. What? My profit is negative $351. I'm losing money. These dunderheads got to give me more money for their stupid food. All right, we've got new product in. People are begging for coffee, these freaking caffeine addicts. They're begging for tea. So I've got some of that. All right, if someone else wants it, we'll, we'll, we will accommodate, we will provide. All right, folks, the Trump market is open. Get your food fresh from the Amazon shipping company. Can't believe that freaking Jeff Bezos guy has such a monopoly in this game. And you know what? I'm going to move this fridge over there. I don't want those stinky ass hats right next to my computer. Joe, you're literally the stinkiest fucking president to lead our country. Instead of wetting the bed at night, you shit the bed. In fact, once I'm back in the White House next year, I'm going to have to have some men in hazmat suits clean up the place from all the shit you and your stinky dogs have left in it. Not to mention Jill is in there, too. Bitch, we had to clean your orange stains in the White House, too. Also, we're still finding old fries and moldy remnants of cheeseburgers under the rugs. Fuck you, Joe. Well, hello, you look like that guy. Um, you look like that guy. Who is that guy? Um, whatever. Uh, some of these people look strange, man. You couldn't find milk. Well, too bad. I don't care. Let's fucking go. I just got my second fridge installed. Now I can start selling cheese. Thanks. All right. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Ah. Everything's okay. We're fine. Um, 11.50. Thank you. Okay. You couldn't find some tea. I'm sorry to hear it. Speaking of tea, when are you going to spill the tea on who your VP pick is? His name is Deez. Deez? Deez nuts! Ha 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 ha! I fucking hate you! 1950. There we go. Thank you! All right. Now I can finally load up the fridge properly. You know, have all this milk out spoiling. That's exactly what people want, right? I don't think the people would want spoiled milk, Donald. I mean, these asshole customers literally cry over spilled milk. I mean, all these fuckers do is complain, complain, complain. Oh, the eggs are expensive. Oh, I couldn't find this. I couldn't find that. These bitches. My blood pressure is rising so much that my heart is beating twice a minute now. Great. Now they are just leaving my packages in the middle of the road for the cars to run over. These bitches are about to have tire tracks on their cereal. Okay, so day six is over. 
Boom. Look at that. I made a glorious profit today. I'm starting to rake it in like I am with that true social merger, man. I am just so good in real life and in this game. Ugh. Sometimes I'm just too good at making money. You're also too good at stuffing your face with burgers and having an ego bigger than Alaska and Texas combined. Cry more. How much money do you even got in the game? Well, uh, I only have 16 bucks, but, but that's because I just bought a shitload of new products for the new day. Well, I got over $600 and my shelves are still pretty filled up. And your mother was pretty filled up too last night. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. A small rack. That would be nice. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Purchase. <laughs> wow. Those, those delivery boys really know what they're doing. And my delivery boys are leaving my packages in the middle of the goddamn street. Why can't I, why can't I place this rack? What the fuck is happening? Wait, I need to purchase a new, oh fuck. God, shit. I have to buy that storage room to put this rack in. Frick. I don't think I'm, I don't think I even have enough levels to do that yet. Ah, frick. I'm gonna order another cheeseburger to calm my stress. God damn it, now my packages really are getting run over. All right, hopefully the people will like having more cheese. What the fuck was that? Sorry, uh, I was trying to say cheese, but I was about to sneeze. Please, Joe, for the love of your gaming setup, don't sneeze. All you need is boogers all over the place on top of the shit stains, melted ice cream, and creepy bags of hair that you stole from strangers. That's a load of bobkas. I do not have bags of hair, Donald, you fucking asshole. How dare you make such absurd claims about your president? Sleepy Joe, you once claimed you were arrested trying to see Mandela. You also claimed you have a good memory, which is more false than saying the sky is green. Actually, the sky can be green. Like that one time I was uh, abducted by aliens. What alien would want to adopt your stupid ass, Joe? I mean, really. I mean, I know they, they probably want to, you know, see our leader, but you, uh, well, they, they might want to just go back to their planet when trying to meet our leader. Okay, I was just joking about the alien part, but you didn't have to be such a fat ass, orange ass meanie. You know what? We'll just use the rack as intended. <laughs> Look at that. See, we don't need to open it to use it. That's what I call thinking outside the box. Ha, 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 ha. Jesus Christ, Donald, did you eat a crap ton of corn for breakfast? Because that was more corny than uh, corn pop, and corn pop was a bad dude, I tell you. I had a huge bowl of cereal for breakfast, but I don't eat just any cereal. No, it was made in the USA. It has to be made in the USA. You know, the cornflake type stuff or raisin bread has to be right out of the fields of Iowa. And this game happens to take place in Iowa. But if it's not cereal, I enjoy a good old McDonald's McMuffins. But you, yeah, you probably need a good cup of pudding with your crushed up pills in it. That's the only way you remember to take them is if they are slipped into your food. Listen here, fat, I don't need no pills. I'm just fine without them because, uh, well, you know, the thing and whatnot. And uh, oh, I placed a box on the plant that's so cool. Ah, uh, I'm trying to do something. Can't get a second of myself here. And now we got fucking men in black buying flour up in here. How can they buy flowers? It's winter. First of all, not that fucking kind of flour, you moron. The flour that you use for cooking. And secondly, it's mid-spring, Joe. Of course, you wouldn't know that because you hide in your basement 95% of the time. It's spring already, oh. That must be why Jill was dressed up as the Easter Bunny last night when we were getting freaky. Ain't no way you're getting freaky anymore, Joe. But let me tell you, the only freaky thing you're doing is being the current president. Hey! Um, what the fuck? Are these, like, twins? This is so cursed. You're just a poor son of a bitch. Get more money. These dirtbags always fucking crying about the prices. It would be nice if we got a few compliments every now and then. I'm so tired of these plastic mofos juding me. Actually, I'm just tired in general. I can tell, because you said juding instead of judging. Stop juding me! What do you mean it's too expensive? Maybe you're just a broke bitch. Whoa, you look a little rough, buddy. Thanks for buying my shit, you old hag. Oh my fucking Lord. What is with these people's obsession with the milk? 
What do you all motherfuckers want it to be, huh? Two fucking cents. Well, I know America just wants you to make some damn sense for once, instead of mumbling nonsense during your cockamamie speeches. You're the one with the cock speech? Um, yeah. All right, well, the milk was just fine for you. 50, 61 cents. There we go. What do you mean you couldn't find it? You just took some. All right, well, I think I'm gonna head out. That bitch Jill wanted me to do something with her. I forget what it was. Hopefully I can just get someone to do whatever it was for me so I can go back to sleep. But uh, yeah, fun session, I guess, running this stupid ass market in this stupid game. When do you want to get back on? How does 6 p.m. sound? That's right after I plan on ordering from Burger King. You already have your meals for tomorrow planned out? Fat. Yep, maybe you should try it sometime. You know, planning. Well, I'm already planning on taking a nap, so talk to you tomorrow, you butt fuck McGee. All right, Donald, I'm ready to play this simulator supermarket. It's called Supermarket Simulator Idiot, but I can't wait to start leveling up the best supermarket you've ever seen. They will say it's the best because I'm the best. Best at being uh, a jerk, yeah, haha, <laughs> take that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, what are you gonna do today in your stupid store? I think I'm gonna uh, move this here cash register to over here so I have more room for extra shelves. Why the fuck is this bitch saying the checkout is full? There's only two fucking people in here. Damn, Joe. You only got two people in your store. I got five. Well, one just left, but bottom line, I got more people buying shit, and you're probably sitting in a puddle of feces. Quit flapping your gums about me shitting myself. It's crude to say shit like that about the president that's building back better. Besides, I don't even eat enough to shit that much. Oh, well, maybe you don't eat as much as me. Damn right. But all that fucking ice cream you eat, you're probably like a coffee maker in the morning pressure washing the toilet if you even make it to the toilet. Actually, you would probably trip on a dust particle on the way there. It wasn't a dust particle. It was just, just a, a muscle cramp. We all get them. What muscle cramp makes you say stupid things constantly? Shut up. Uh, why are there so many people in here? Uh, oh my God. Ah. Uh, uh, $34. Boom. Oh my God, if you would let me get to it. Okay, 50, 60, one, get out of here. Come on, bring it on. You know what, bring it on. This, this does feel like working at a grocery store. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in here somewhere. You just got to find it, you silly, silly Billy. Thanks for giving me money, you fool. So uh, is this it? Is this all there is to this game? It's supposed to simulate the experience of running a supermarket. What do you want? Giant dinosaurs with space lasers? Well, that would definitely make things a little more interesting. We got, why do I have three things of milk? Did I accidentally not order eggs? Oh my gosh, I didn't order eggs. I ordered two things of milk. God dang it. Of course, the ugly slut that looks like she's been bathing in oil is buying more oil. These fellas do look oily. I don't know who decided to make them look so down bad oily. Someone in the graphics department is getting fired. Anyways, I just bought a new section of my Epic store. Ah, uh, look at that. It made the entrance fancier. Oh, and I got all that extra room in the back. I'm gonna put loads of fridges and shelves once I make more money. I'm gonna be so goddamn rich, I'm gonna be bathing in as much money as oil that these plastic characters bathe in. Don't you, like, already bathe in orange juice every day? Shut up, butt munch. Oof, that was not a good day. I lost 530 fucking bucks. Oh, right. That's because I purchased more space. I'm going to put that to use today. I'm going to have so much shit for these fuckers to buy that my supermarket will end up taking over the whole fucking town. Doesn't your mother already take over the entire town whenever she goes to one? At least she's not as big as the amount of problems you've caused. Shut up, asshole. You have no idea what you're talking about. I cause nothing but problem. Uh, the opposite of problems. We're all right. Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Sorry, we're, we're currently uh, doing some renovations in the store. Please get the fuck out of my way while we do it. Look at this. Look at this amazing, wow. Wow, thank you for your money, Mr. Japanese man. Thank you. Oh, shut up about the bottled water being too expensive, bitch. 
If you don't have the money, then just go to a goddamn river and bottle it yourself. Jesus Christ, I, I literally can't get a goddamn second to myself. Wow, thank you, lady, for just buying milk. Fucking bitch. Damn, I only made a $48 fucking profit on day six. Why did you all of a sudden just randomly have a southern accent there? Um, I don't know. I guess I forgot which accent I was supposed to be using. Good. Oh, my God. You can't find flour? Why is everything... Why... Why am I out of everything all the time? And why can I only buy a small amount? It's like I can only buy a little bit of it at a time. Yeah, that shit pisses me off, man. I have to constantly go back to the stupid computer to buy the stupid products. Once I have 10 stupid things in the stupid cart, we should be able to buy, like, uh, more than 10 at a time. Couldn't agree more, which is unusual, because usually I never agree with your stupid ass. Let's fucking go! I got a $365 profit on day eight. That's pretty good. Day eight. How the fuck are you already on day eight? I just started day seven. Because I'm hustling. I'm bustling. I'm not taking my sweet old time like your dopey ass. Yeah, well, I just ordered a new shelf so I can have more products. I'm doing just fine in the game, Donald. Sometimes taking your time is the way to win the, uh... Oh, I don't know. I couldn't have just lost my train of thought. Your train of thought was already on its route to nowhere. Shut up, you orange dildo. All right, how are we doing on pasta? Not, not well. We're not doing well on anything. It's like as soon as I buy anything, it just goes out the door. Um, there we go. Purchase. Um, okay. So we're going to, listen, we are going to load out the store. All right? I, I'm not playing around anymore. I'm not going to let these, these people... These customers get the best of me. You hear me? Actually, I didn't hear you. What did you say again? Just get some goddamn hearing aids. I don't want AIDS. All right. I'm literally going to keep going until everything is stocked. I'm going to keep ordering and keep ordering and keep ordering as much as it'll let me. No! Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. No. Okay. I just threw out my product. I didn't even know that was possible. God fucking frickin' ass fucking butt fuck. I'm so mad at that. That was four perfectly good bottles of oil that these bitches could have bathed their ugly faces in. That's why I don't throw out my boxes, Donald. I save all of them. I have the entire front yard littered with boxes, and it's great. Joe, you're littering. That's not very environmentally friendly. Says the guy single-handedly making oranges go extinct, rubbing them all over your face and shit. For your information, it's a golden glow. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bitch. All right, good. Now those diabetics have their sugary susu. Purchase. We have $16. It's, we are going to stop this freaking store until it's ready to bust. Okay? I think the button on your pants is about to bust if you eat just one more burger. Yeah, well, your mama made me bust last night. Hey. Um, what the hell was that sound? Oh, I was trying to say hey in an angry tone, but then I farted and it burned like hell. Gross! All right, we got $16 now. That's looking pretty sweet, not to lie. Is there anything else we need to buy? Uh, uh, oh, there's an eyelash in my eye. I can feel it. We don't have any cheese. What about cheese? Can I get one thing of cheese? Can I afford it? No way. I can. What? No, it's, it's shipping. Oh, sh goddamn shipping fee. They don't even deliver the packages right. Fucking leaving them in the middle of the street and shit. But anyways, I guess I should open up shop for the day so I can start bringing in the big bucks. It's not theft. Whore. Wow, Joe, you really know how to compliment your customers. Didn't you once try selling scamming your customers for $200 cheese? Nice grammar skills, Joe. But it was good cheese. Enjoy your fat stack of dollar bills. Gotta give him some bucks for the strip club. All right, these, these, these transactions are only getting bigger. <laughs> you are also only getting bigger, too. <laughs> You're right, Joe. My net worth is getting bigger, my poll numbers are getting bigger, and my virtual supermarket is getting bigger, baby. 
I meant your weight was getting bigger. Oh my God, these fucking eggheads and their milk is too expensive cries. All right, thanks for the exact change. I'll just, just cheese for me, please. Thank you, sir. Ah, fuck. This asshole bought the last bag of flour. Now I have to buy more of that shit. How dare he? Joe, the point of the game is for these virtual bitches to buy your shit. You can't make money if they don't buy your flour. Not true, because he bought my flour. I have to buy more flour. So therefore, I'm losing money by uh, selling things because they keep buying it. Ugh. Good to know you had extra stupid dummy O's for breakfast today. We're organizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hi. Wow. All right. You got you got many hungry children. All right. I'm sure they're beautiful. <laughs> what you're crying about, Donnie? From all the commerce, there's so much commerce. It's amazing. What the hell is a commerce? Commerce. Commerce? Yeah. But what is it? Something you're not good at. Oh, well, that could be a lot of things. I mean, uh, I'm good at everything. Hush up. I think this will be the last day we do. I feel like, I feel like I got nowhere. You know, the store looks a bit different, but that's about it. It's not like we have anything new. We're just getting our, getting our shit together. Too bad you can never do that, Joe. Do what? Get your shit together. I do too have my shit together. Actually, you're right, Joe. You do have your family together in the White House. Shut the frick up, you orange UBT plug. Oh, gosh darn it, Joe, you typed that wrong on the teleprompter. Sorry, Don, I meant to say orange butt plug. And your mama got plugged last night? Hey! All right. Oh, jeez. Uh, you can wait your frickin' melons right there. Thank you. Wait, you're selling melons in your store now. How did you get that? I was talking about this lady's melons. You moron. Oh. All right. It's looking good. So we got sugary cereal, pasta, bread, oil, basically the, the, yeah, the cheapy stuff, but not quite as cheap as your mother, Joe. Ha, 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 ha. Will you fucking knock it off about my mother or else I'm going to deport you to, uh, to America? I'm already in America, dumbass. But you're in Florida, right? Jesus fucking applesauce. Joe, can you get any stupider? Can you get any fatter? Stop answering my questions with other questions. But why? All right, I guess I'm done for the day. Not too bad, not too bad. At least I made a profit. I gotta do better next time. I'm gonna log off for now because my stomach has been empty for 30 long minutes. So I'm gonna get a cheeseburger. Hopefully next time I can purchase new items or hire a cashier and maybe just maybe, Joe, you will find a way to be less stupid next time. But I have a better chance at winning California this November. Wait, which year is November in again? All right, folks, we are back with some supermarket simulating greatness. Chair biscuit, Brussels sprouts, spaghetti, milk duds, giraffe, chicken fried onion farts. What, what, Joe? Ten seconds into this session and you're already making zero sense. Oh, sorry, I was just getting ready for a speech I have to do later. You might as well just not fucking speak. But anyways, you ready to sell some groceries? No, not really. Okay, so when we last left off, we upgraded our supermarket. Isn't that great? Isn't that fantastic? I know, it's, oh. All right. Okay, it's dangerous out here. We can't be, why are we open? No, we're closed. We're closed. All right, I'm not making that same mistake again. Now, let's just finish out the day. I didn't get, so we're on day nine, guys. We're on day nine. Isn't that swell? Isn't that just peachy? You're the one that's peachy Don, which baffles me since you're always eating Chick-fil-A and McDonald's and you're never seen eating fruits such as oranges and peaches yet. You look like them. And you look like a shriveled up wrinkly ass ball of rice. What? You heard me. Actually, no, I didn't. We clearly have a uh, bustling area of commerce right here, a bustling uh, cornucopia of commerce even. Um, our place is a mess though. Um, I think we need to start cleaning up, but, uh, um, oh, I pick up. All right, let's, 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 yeah, let's, okay. We gotta just do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, no, uh, can I close that again? All right, let's just, yeah, just, just. All right, we got a lot of product here. We got a lot of water. Just making sure everyone's hydrated while they're shopping, you know? 
You make a great point, Don, which usually doesn't happen, but hydration is, uh, well, you know, one of things ever to exist. Like last night, I really, really made your mama hydrated. And you should hydrate yourself with Pepto-Bismol so you stop leaving trails of chocolate in the White House. I'm going to have to have so much cleaned up when I get back in there next January. The only place you're going next January is uh, the place. Wow, very descriptive, Joe. The fuck you talking about? I am in no way predictive. I said descriptive, you numb nut. And I know you're not predictive. You wouldn't even be able to predict what color the sky is going to be tomorrow. Well, obviously, it would be uh, seven. Okay, um, what uh, the hell do I do here? This guy is just standing here. Did you remember to press the space bar to finish the transaction? Oh, um, yeah, 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 totally. I definitely remembered that. I don't know what you're talking about. We got our spoiling milk in the corner. We have got our shelf that we can't use yet at all. Um, we've got we've got a, a world full of potential customers ready to be served. Like this guy, this gentleman. Look at him. He's a determined, a determined individual. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what happens. But uh, before that happens, we got to we got to look at all of our prices. OK, things were last time. Things were utterly chaotic. They were just not befitting of a store owner. And I do not want to be in that situation again. So we are going to make sure that we are ready this time. All right. So. Our sugar frickin' smacky smacks, four dollars seems like a good price for that. Our shot, our, 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 okay, it's a little over market. That's fine. People like their pasta. People love their pasta. They love it. Um, let's see, four ninety six. Bread can go up. All right, let's do this. Four seventy five. Still give them a bit of a deal. Okay. Uh, ooh, you know what? 375. I got to see the market's getting pretty competitive. I got to stay I got to stay afloat. I got to keep 446 for flour. All right. Okay. We're going to up it to $4. I don't believe that the flour should be that expensive, but we're just going to up it just to, just to keep up with the times. It looks like inflation is really really getting up. $7. 7 $7 for a for a box of cereal. Oh my goodness. The market price is $7. All right, we're going to sell it at $7.25 just to make things easier. That's like, gosh. All right, especially, especially because we paid like $4 a box. We paid $4 a box. That's insane. All right, $11 for that is good. Uh, 519 chore the tea can tea can go um, what about our fridge how's our fridge doing we've got cheese our wonderful cheese just rotting next to the fridge that's nice isn't cheese like already rotten not as rotten as your policies shut the fuck up you wacky tacky orange door hinge smelly welly fatty fatty butt fuck my policies are great they're doing things such as uh well uh things and the other things Mm, good talk, bud. Good talk. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to move this cash register thingy because I don't really like the position of it. I don't quite remember why I moved it in the first place. All right, I think that's good. Gives me enough room to walk around and get to my computer desk where I should actually buy a shit ton more products because I'm running out of basically everything because these assholes keep buying my shit, which should be illegal. It's basically theft. How dare they empty my store? That's literally the point of a store, Joe, for people to buy things. I don't fucking care. All right, I think I'm going to take the hit and buy a new shelf. That way I can empty my wallet on a bunch of products, and then I can just put the remaining products on a throwaway shelf. Hey, wait a minute. That sounded smart. You're not supposed to sound smart. Of course I'm supposed to sound smart. I'm Donald J. Trump, baby. I'm a thousand times smarter than your sleepy ass. In fact, a fucking potting plant is a thousand times smarter than you. So you're saying you could even loose against a potted plant in an election? That's rough, man. Shut up. That's fake news. For your information, I want it life. You want it being the stupidest person of the year for the past 81 years. But I am 81. Exactly. Come on, please. Fuck. OK, fine, lady, you stupid bitch asshole. Enjoy just having a box of sugar. 
fucking slut. I'm still, I still, oh wait, we're out of coffee. Like we have like no coffee. Okay, well we have 112, okay. We can do this, we can do this, we can afford coffee. Um, order coffee, boom. I should have put it all on one order, but gotta make sure to please the caffeine addicts. We don't need all of that. We've got a whole shelf of that. We'll just have two shelves of coffee, two shelves of tea. That works out splendidly. Now, I may have to order more coffee, but I simply can't afford. Um, what we, we're going to have a bad day, okay? We're going to have we're going to have a pretty crappy day. Let's start the day. Let's just do it. We're we're running our supermarket. Fuck! What, Joe? My box is about to fall over. Ah. Uh. Perhaps that box is mimicking you. Perhaps you're an ass. Fake news. I'm great. You're the one that's a big fucking ass butt. Yeah, well, President Ass Butt fired you in November 2020-2020 uh, that year. Good to know your teleprompter is malfunctioning again. And no, it's not. I mean, uh, I don't have a teleprompter. What you talking about? All right, well, the Trump market is open. Welcome, everyone. Come on in. I have lots of products. Come on. Lots of products here. Come on, everyone needs to come and purchase my products. If you don't come in, I will fucking, ah! Our first customer, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Glad you could be here. Mostly because you have money. All right, now I can get back to my box building project. Now I just uh, gotta get up here. Um, Man, I want a cheeseburger. Shut up, fat. Hmm, okay, that's looking pretty good, I guess. I know I am. Wasn't talking about you, you fucking ego. Uh, testicle butt face. Ego testicle? Yep. Let's go. All right, what do we got? $21, boom. All right, just buying some bread, good. All right, boom, Four seventy-five. boom. All right, what do we got? Oh, 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 we're making it happen. Okay, one, two, three, four, uh, 50. Oh yeah, we're pra we're well practiced by now. That's what I'm talking about. I'm get I'm making myself dizzy. I'm going to throw up from how good I'm running this store. And I'm going to throw up if I accidentally look at a photo of your face. Shit, man. Then you might as well not look at any news networks or articles because 90% of the time it's about me. I'm literally the most talked about man in the country because of how great I am. No, it's because of how bad you are. Nah, pretty sure it's cuz I'm great. Great at not being great. Take that. Damn it, these freaking customers, man. I'm busy building towers of boxes here. Stop interrupting me, you fucking bitch. Why is everyone here dressed like James fucking Bond? All right. Okay, thanks for coming. Bump, up, up. Now, uh, 75 cents. Get out of my store. Get out. Get out. Get out. You suck. So do you. You're right, Joe. I do suck. I suck your mama's big, fat, gaping, wrinkly, fishy-smelling pussy. God damn it, Donald, you fucking immature mango. Beautiful. I, I have beautiful, I have beautiful people in my store. Oh my goodness. Big order here. All right, one, uh, uh all right. Oh, you couldn't find eggs. Oh, come on. Well, that's because this guy took them all. Uh, 46. See, I knew I was gonna be missing some stuff as soon as I, as soon as I got in, but hey, it happens. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all wanted the eggs. Well, you don't need eggs. Anyone who needs eggs should just buy a chicken and figure it the hell out themselves. Hey, you know what? That would be a cool feature. Maybe you could buy live chickens and then just kill them to get the eggs so that you can sell eggs for more of a profit. Joe, this isn't a fucking farming simulator. Also, you don't have to kill a chicken to get its eggs, dumbass. Oh, you don't? Then what the hell is the problem with those damn vegans? Which, uh, oh, right, I support the current thing of vegan veggie table as the current president, end of quote, repeat the line. Oh my gosh, stop complaining about the eggs. Fine, fine, you want eggs? I'll purchase some eggs. Add to cart, purchase. Oh my gosh. See, I had no idea it was gonna be this crazy. Okay, 
It's outside. You want to? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll hire you to to stock the shelves for me. <laughs> okay. Larga. They're in. There. 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 All right. Jeez. Flipping flapjacks. These ass hats are annoying. I know, right? Sometimes I wish I could just throw a bag of flour at them, or better yet, just beat the fucking ever living shit out of them and then steal their stupid pixelated money. Yeah, and then I would take the cash register and fucking crush them with- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus fucking butterscotch, Joe. This isn't fucking GTA. Mm, I could go for some butterscotch ice cream right about now. Oh, fuck, I gave that guy an extra five cents. Come fucking back here, bitch. Okay. My goodness. It's like everyone's all of a sudden like ravenous. You couldn't find the... Yeah, because this bitch took it all. Everyone's buying like ridiculous amounts of everything. All right. Um, thank you. Okay. Oil. One, two, fifty. Thank you for coming. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Thanks for coming. Wow. We need like more coffee, more... All right, we have, look how much money I have, dude. All right, you know what? We're just gonna purchase cha, cha, chuff, chuffed. I'm simply chuffed. Oh, fucking hell, I gotta buy more coffee. Oh uh yeah, -huh. I would destroy that fucking bell if I could. Good stuff, thank you. Okay, you couldn't find bottled water. Well, I have bottled water, so, okay. This is getting really annoying. Uh, $5. Oh my. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm trying to satisfy my customers, but they refuse to be satisfied. Maybe just be happy with what you have, assholes. What happened to all my milk? All right. Well, it looks like we need to really expand our operations here. Speaking of milk, I ran out of milk as well. All right, I finally finished day eight. And I made a $250 profit. Let's go. We're going to need more shelves. This is ridiculous. Look, it's almost completely cleaned out. And people keep coming. It just shows when you have a quality product, because that's what my stuff is. It's quality product. People can't stop coming. They're addicted to coming to my store. And they don't stop coming. And they get old stock coming. And they'll stop counting. And they get old stock counting. And they don't stop 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 counting. And you can't stop shitting. And you can't stop shitting. And you can't stop shitting. You can't stop shitting. You can't stop shitting. You shitty fucking sleepy head. I didn't shit. I only farted. Um, Jill, can you come over here and get me some new pants, please? All right, $29. Get out of here. You couldn't find milk because there is no more milk. Fucking idiot. The bottled water is too expensive. No, it's not, you fucking cheapskate. Fucking poor people, am I right? Hello, Mr. Ugly Pants. What the fuck? Back again already, Mr. Ugly Pants. All right, we're good. We're good. Now. Um, I guess we'll end the day. Just, just end the day. That's enough customers. Look at that. Profit of almost $500. Our balance is 740. 740? Yeah, I got 720 right now. You're about as good as me. Hey, hey, hey. You shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Don't you ever dare say something like that. I'm better than you at everything. So shut your wrinkly pie hole. Speaking of pie holes, your fat mama enjoyed a cream pie last night. Gross! What do you mean gross? It was delicious. That rich custard made from milk and sugar. Mmm. Uh, do you seriously not know what a cream pie is? Yeah, I just told you. Ugh, Joe, you're so lame, oh my god. Oh man, I'm so good at giving back change. Displays fall hot. Well, we're just gonna load this up with eggs. And then we're, we're going to make the other one a milk, milk exclusive. So here we go. So let's move this. Just going to take that, put that there for now. Perfect. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We have a new fridge. The fridge has a buddy. 
We got milk. We're just going to load it up with milk. Um, nobody's going to go milkless tonight, especially your mother, Joe. Oh, for God's sake, Donald. Whoa, whoa, holy shit. I just reached 1,000 smackaroos. You have 1,000 bucks. What? Are you selling some of Hunter's powder or some shit? Nope, I'm just, uh, well, actually, I'm not quite sure how I got to $1,000. What was I even doing again? Uh, damn, I'm just going to have to keep loading up my shit. This game must be rigged. We've got the Panzati pasta. Actually, that seems like a real, like, that could be, that could be a real brand of pasta. I believe it. Uh, don't throw out your product. I've wasted product before. You mean like the millions of products you've wasted on your disaster of a hair? Bitch, my hair is glorious, and you know it. Uh, yours just looks like a dirty cobweb sitting on a wrinkly potato head. Okay, now that is uncalled for. Anyways, I think I'm gonna head out. I gotta uh, do that thing I was supposed to do. All oh, right, it was laughing at your sorry ass being in court. Yeah, yeah, well, while you're laughing at my court hearings, the entire country is laughing at your stupid ass falling off bikes and shit. At least I can sit on a bike without my weight breaking it.